How you doing, Angie? Okay, so that's a confirmation on the Georgetown project. I want you to get a hold of uh, Larry Wilcox in the Eastern Division and tell him it's a go. Hang on just a second. Hey, Karen, thanks a lot. You're too good to me. Yes, I know. And don't forget your 10 o'clock appointment. It's important. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me get back to you on Monday. Take care of that for me. Oh, hi, Paul. Listen, sweetheart. Helen's going away to Chicago again for a couple of days next week. Can we meet? Say, Thursday? Same place? About six. I'll send my car again. Next Thursday? Sure, I think that can be arranged. Great. I'll be looking forward to it, as always. Mm, so am I, Paul. Round six, right? I'll see you then, sweetheart. Bye. What's this? Special occasion? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it is. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Why don't you pour the wine and get comfortable? Come on, Ellen. What is it? After this weekend, I won't have to leave anymore. Why? Because I'm changing my position to a new company to uh, bring in new clients and sort of open up the field. Who? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Lambert and Associates. They're an architectural design company. You've heard of them, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, they want me to start as soon as I get back. Isn't that wonderful? I spend a whole lot more time together, darling. That's fantastic, Ellen. It's really great. <laughs> I know. I'm ecstatic. Well, I'll tell you what I have in mind for you. I'm going to put you into a position ahead of Stan and the other guys. And I'll tell you why. First of all, because I like you. Second, you know most of the operations, and, uh, well, I think you could do some important favors for the company. What do you think? What do I think? Carl, I'm flattered. You know I'd do anything for you in the company. Good. I'm really glad for Karen. Yeah? Getting that promotion. She'll handle it well. <laughs> Karen takes pretty good care of herself. You like her, don't you? Yeah. Karen, this is Ellen Simmons. She's in charge of some of our Eastern projects. Ellen, Miss Karen Richards. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Simmons. Karen, you and Ellen will be working on some of the new accounts, so I'm sure that you can both be of help to each other. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Fine. I think we can work things out. If you'll both excuse me, I have some catching up to do. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, our little Miss Sweet Karen's got something going. Yeah? Laugh, you laugh. Think about it. All right, first she gets the promotion ahead of us. That's one. Two, Mrs. Simmons comes to work for the company. I'm telling you, she's got a plan for this company. I don't see us in it, Dan. I mean, where are we at? <laughs> Take it easy, Stan. Take it easy. Take it easy. You want to bet your paycheck? I'll see you later. That's right. And uh, bring some of those by later on this afternoon if you can. Good. Okay, bye-bye. Everything going well, Karen? Sure. You know how I like to operate under pressure. You also know that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your recommendation. Karen, uh, I'm joining a friend of mine this weekend, Richard Denton, to discuss a very important and uh, possible merger. He's president of Allied Designers and... Uh, well, his business could, uh, could be a very big asset to the company. So now that you're uh, in the executive branch, how would you like to join us? Carl, I'm flattered, thank you. But I've got other things. He and his wife would uh, meet us at the airport in their private plane, and we'd fly up to their cabin in the country. Uh, it would mean a lot to the company, and to me, if you could join us. Well, I would like to be able to think it over. I have some other plans for this weekend. Any chance of changing them? I'm not sure. I need some time. You got it, Karen. And don't worry about a thing. It's all taken care of. Just let me know by tomorrow.
So, how have you been, oh, Richard? Fine, fine. It's been a long time, Carl. It certainly has. Uh, I'd like to meet my wife here. Well, well brought her along, fine. How do you do? <laughs> Hello. I've Bye. heard a lot about you. Good. Uh, Carol, my... is it? Carol, right. This is my <laughs> colleague. This is Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen Richard. Richard. This is Karen, isn't it? I'm very happy to meet you. I hope okay, you Okay, Karen, we go and fire up. We need to take off. I hope it isn't too bumpy. Uh, no, no, it'll be very nice. Can you it see the uh, oh, yes, view below? Yes. It'll be very nice. Can you fly low and pick up a few grapes on there? Yeah, well, we may be able to point out. <laughs> Okay. Since I am the guest, I'd be very happy to uh, toast all of us to a nice, companionable weekend. Yeah. And to, oops, very nice wine and great choice of restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> that <one was> <laughs> yes, I'm really looking forward to it. We have a great time up here. The house is beautiful. Oh, what is yeah, that? That's right. The airframe and the wood. It's a good design. You need the relaxation, I say. <laughs> Hey, Richard. Oh. Everything all right? Yeah, sure. Uh, I just couldn't sleep. I'm going out of the bathroom. Uh, okay. Hey, well, listen, why don't, you, uh, why don't you come on in and join Karen and I for a nightcap? Well, I don't want to disturb you. Is that okay? Sure. Come on in. Okay. Come on in, Richard. Have a seat. We've got just about anything you'd like back here. Excuse me for just a minute, Richard. <laughs> what was it? Ah, uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you make yourself a drink? I'll be back in a little while. All right, fine. Karen, Richard is really going nuts. He can hardly hold it back. He really wants to... Uh, just get close to you. Badly. Karen, a really big deal depends on this. I think you know what I'm talking about. Carl, please. Karen, I... look, it's all right. Just, just talk to him. Be with him for a while, right? Are you sure of what you're saying? Richard's nice, but... Yeah. Okay. so badly.
Karen, it was worth it. After this, we're set. Richard now owes us a favor for life. I just don't want you to lose respect for me. Hey, baby, don't worry about it. You did really well. Hey, I'll make it up to you, okay? Yes? Hi, honey. Just wanted to see how you were doing. I miss you. Oh, you do? How nice. So glad you remember after all this time. Karen, of course I remembered. I meant to call you sooner, but... It's all right, Paul. I understand. I'm sure you've been busy with other things. So how you been? Just fine, really. And you? I've been okay. Listen, Karen, it's been nice talking to you again, but... I guess it's better this way. Yeah. You're right, Paul. It is better this way. Bye. My wife will be back sometime Saturday. I may have to pick her up at the airport. Really? I was hoping we could spend this weekend together. It could be worse. I go Sunday brunch. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I'll give you a call next week sometime. Karen, come on. Everything will be all right. I know we don't spend enough time together, but I'll work on it. I know, Pa. I know. Hey, you still busy? How about lunch? <laughs> Sorry, Jan. There goes lunch. Well, maybe tomorrow. Later. This good for a long time. I'm having a great time with Carl. Oh boy. Haven't I heard that line before? Well, it's true. <sighs> That's just because he's a married man and you're still afraid of any kind of commitment. I wish you'd just break it off right here before you get in too deep. Look, my way, you don't get hurt. But you were hurt the last three times. I just feel it's gonna work out better this time. Oh, Karen. It's just not healthy to only go out with married men. What about a guy like Ben? A nice guy. He's been a friend to you. I'm concerned about you. Thanks. I'll be okay. Well, listen. How about joining Steve and me for Easter Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to spend a day with Carl. Are you sure? What do you mean? I mean, you had a date last Easter and you spent it alone. This time it's different. Carl promised to spend all of Sunday with me. 
What about his wife and kids? What about them? Listen, it's no problem. I just wish people would bet out of my business, you know? All right, right, all right. I just don't want to see you get hurt, that's all. I'm getting that strange feeling once again. Just when I'm really getting close to a man I've left myself open to, the door closes on me. It wasn't so long ago. I remember some of those wonderful times with Paul. We always met in wonderful surroundings. A special place, just for us. Anything to make me happy. We just had something unique together. He was so good to me. I always felt so special with him. There wasn't anything I wouldn't do for Paul. I must have been trying so hard to make him happy that I forgot about myself. I was his mistress for over a year. I really trusted Paul. It was the perfect arrangement. Both of us. I gave myself completely to Paul. Oh, Paul, fabulous. You are so incredibly sweet to me. We had fun with each other. We were so close, perhaps a little too close. We just had something unique together. We felt free. I think I just want to be alone with you. You'll have to forgive my impatience. Sometimes I just can't wait to be alone with you again. It's because you know I'm going to tear you apart. Hmm. I have a little something special for you. You do, huh? Wait right here. Good marry it. That was that. Goodbye, Paul Simmons. Oh, Carol. I don't understand. Why don't you give up on these married men? This is the third time you've been burned in four years. You know what I think? No. I'm not sure I want to. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. I think you're afraid of single men because it might lead to a permanent relationship. You're still afraid of making a commitment. But I've always been satisfied with my love life. Until, have you? Always second to his wife and kids. Look, I don't want a man to leave me the way my father left my mother and I 20 years ago. I can't go through that again. I won't. It just isn't fair to you, Carol. You're right. 
it isn't. I'll get some more coffee. Okay. Hello? Hello, Carl? Karen, what the hell are you doing? Look, I'm, I'm sorry about today. I, I just couldn't disappoint my wife and kids. Sorry, you have the wrong number. Happy Easter anyway. I, uh, I'd like to uh, apologize for Sunday. A peace offering. You think it's that simple? You walk in here, hand me a flower, and all is forgiven? Well, you're wrong. You could have at least called. Now look, let's get a few things straight. At least I came in here to apologize. I didn't have to. And as long as you're the other woman in my life, don't you ever call my home. What do you mean, other woman? You know exactly what I mean. As long as we have our little arrangement, you've got to go by the rules. I thought we agreed on that. Now listen. We have a luncheon date tomorrow with another couple, and it's important that we be there. Two o'clock. Right? Yeah, I'll be there. Hmm. I'm really glad we could get together, Jack. It's been a long time since I've seen you and Judy. It's my pleasure, Carl. You know, we've covered a lot of new ground lately. Really busy. Looks like you've been pretty busy yourself. Tell me, Karen, have you been working with Carl for some time now, or...? Well, actually, I just recently got the key to the executive bathroom. But I have been with the company for quite some time now. A reservation? Yes, James. Hey, James. Step right over here. Oh, no. Shit. What's the matter? That's Ed James from the San Diego office over there. I can't let him see us together, especially here. Oh. Listen, uh, I'm, uh, I can't really stay for the rest of the evening. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to go. Can you drive her home? Sure. It was nice of Jack to sit up front. I told him we had to talk. About what? about being a married man's woman. It isn't an easy life. And from what I can see, you have a lot to learn about it. You can only see them a couple of times a week, and sometimes for only a few hours. You can never spend time with them on holidays. Their wives and children always come first. They cancel a date at the last minute, and yet they expect you to be ready to go at a moment's notice. You know something? You'd better be ready to go. Because they can always find someone who will be. They can call you at home. And yet you don't dare call them. It's a very lonely life. Just look at me. It sounds so harsh. So cold. You'll have to decide that for yourself, Karen. I made my decision nine years ago. But what happens when I start? 
getting nasty. I want to see you less and less. Good night, Karen. Karen, how are you? All right, I guess. Dan, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. For being a real good friend. Oh, sure. Is everything okay, Karen? Dan, I've decided to take a leave of absence. I need to be by myself for a while. Do you think you could tell Carl for me? Of course. But are you sure it's the right thing to do? I mean... Absolutely. I've thought about this very carefully. I have to be fair to myself. Well, Karen, if you need any help, you feel free to call, okay? Thanks for everything, Dan. Bye. Oh, oh I'm sorry, is this your cab? No, it's all right, really. Actually, I'm going to the airport. If you're going my way, we could share the ride. Hello. Are you married by any chance? Well, yes, I am. Oh, thanks. I think I'll walk today. 